Hey guys, my name is Simsy. how are you all doing? Welcome back to some more Total War Rome 2 here today on the channel. This is episode 10. We've hit double digits of my DEI Divide et Impera Spartan campaign. Here today, we're going to declare war upon the Ethiopians and push further south into the Horn of Africa. We're going to have a war against them. So, after taking the Egyptian territory in the north here, we've got some... Smaller factions that sort of threaten our stability in the region. For example, the Ethiopians. And we've also got the Nasamones. They're sort of like a Gamantian sort of desert tribe faction. So we'll deal against them. So here is the Spartan Empire at the time of recording. We've got a front going on with uh, a war with the Persians as well. And we've also got some military forces up in the north dealing with barbarians in and around Hungary. So we'll play that battle to start things off today. We have three armies looking to push into this North African territory as well. Back over in the far east, we have military forces continuing the war against the mighty Persian Empire. And hopefully we can destroy them. Okay, back all the way across our Western Empire, up in the north. We've managed to take Pannonia in the last couple of episodes. And look, you know what? Let's push some... Investment into Dacia. Uh, we've managed to hit our military victory conditions as well in the last episode officially. And I guess we're going for economic and cultural. I don't think we're ever going to be able to get 9, 000, like 90,000, I think it was, um, talents per turn. Because we're already making that amount. <laughs> 90,000 would be quite a lot. I don't know if that's doable in DEI. But I guess we have to see. Alright, let's declare war upon these guys, although they're technically, um, yeah, oh, okay, so they're technically Egyptian, culturally, in the, in the, in the, um, diplomacy tab there. Anyway, let's get a battle against them. Should be a lot of fun. Spartans versus Ethiopians. Who's gonna win? In 254 BC, we have the Tower of Phobos, which is under the command of Leonidas II, heir of the Empire of Sparta, adopted son of King Aureus. But you could technically call Leonidas, if you want, the second Spartan king, because technically Sparta had two kings, but obviously there are limitations to, well, Rome too and, and DEI, so... I guess you just sort of have to roleplay. There's not a p political office for it that I'm aware of. Okay, so we currently have five Cretan archers. Most of this army is made up of Spartan Hellenic units. There isn't too many different uh, sort of mercenary units. So we chuck the baggage train at the back, and it looks like they're going to try and close the difference against us. They're gonna come right for us, so Spartans hold the line! There's some Spartan units there though. It should be a good fight. So let's have a look at the Ethiopians. Wow, I really like that they sort of fleshed out this faction. Look at this, man. Oh my god, this looks very Zulu, doesn't it? <laughs> oh, a lot of cavalry pushing on our right flank here. Gotta watch out for them, they're skirmishing us. So hold the line, men. We go into the depths of Africa. I'm curious to see how well we perform against them because, oh, looking at the balance of power, ooh, not overly too much in my favor. Okay, so they're going to try and flank us. Let's drop a war cry over there if we can. But our Cretan archers are getting some shots off. They should have the numbers in the melee attack, but the defense they're probably lacking. In the armor department, you would imagine. But here come the Ethiopians. Fierce, brave, and independent. Oh my god. They always are a huge problem <laughs> when I play Arts of Iron 4. But so far, they are smashing upon the Spartan front line. I'm sorry, Mark Strong, you've got to be muted for now. We're trading back and forth. Oh, Sparta! Oh my god. 
Look at these poor fellows. So this is an Ethiopian slash Egyptian build. Look at that, they've got zebra shields, giraffes shields. <laughs> oh my god. Some of them have some helmets. And some armor, but most of them are lightly defend. Oh my god, we're buckling on that right flank here. The Ethiopian warrior, heavily competitive against our own Spartans. Crikey. Right, let's try and hit these guys sitting further at the back if we can. No, I'm not. If I'm not accurate, I need them all to be clustering. Alright. That's a one and done. <laughs> <laughs> sometimes I'm good with it, sometimes I'm a little bit off my mark. Yeah, it's just it's just the RNG because they deliberately make it a lot harder. Sometimes the velocity of those shots can go a bit. You, sometimes you're better off to manually control it, sometimes you're not, just due to the angle. Okay, we're getting swarmed on this right flank. We need to pull back here. Drop another walk eye. This is going to be a lot closer than what I thought. Maybe we could cause a route there. Luckily, we've got our... Phalanx defensible position. But maybe I've bit off a little bit more than I can shoot. Maybe the Spartans aren't up to task of securing southern Egypt. Maybe there might be a better angle. Like, try and hit that. Okay, now we're winning the center. It's just on the left and right flank. We're buckling quite a bit. They're putting a lot of pressure on us. We might need a breakout. Look, these archers are getting caught here. Pull back. Oh, I hate that when they try and recalibrate their shots and they go over the front line. Right. You know what? you got to risk it for the biscuit. Or brisket. That I like to say. Alright. Let's give out some attack orders. For death and glory. All the quotes. Let them go. For night we dine in hell. Come and get them. Yeah, because we were just like being defensive. It was only going to work for s so long. They are really giving it to us. Look at this. Sparta fighting in the heart of Africa. And oh my god, they're trading back and forth. Casualties left, right and center. Oh my god. <laughs> this looks so cool. They're actually holding their own really well. Look at this. Whoa. This is the Leonidas General Unit. They seem to be taller slightly. You'd think... The Ethiopians would be much more taller, you would imagine. Than our... Spartan units, you'd think. It's more of just a Rome 2 coding thing, but you'd think that they'd, they'd be... Giant over us, towering over us. So the general units doing well holding for now. Oh my god, the mayhem in the desert. But we need to secure these provinces because these roaming factions, like if we leave, right? If we leave Ethiopia and leave the desert nomads, they, the problem is they can attack us. And take that Egyptian territory we fought really hard for. So we need to secure the surrounding provinces. Like it's doable against particularly this like there's technically three factions in this province of Ethiopia down in the south in the near the Horn. So the last thing we wanted them to unite. While they're divided, they are ripe for the conquering. Okay, so we've got a couple units caught here. I try to get as many cinematic shots, because I don't know about you guys, I love just seeing the animations and units go toe-to-toe -to -toe with each other. Because that's what Total was all about. Especially with DEI. I feel that's a bit of a waste, you know what I mean? That if you don't see some of these fantastically retextured and modded, unit, uh, modded, modded units like just go at it, you're wasting a little bit, but... You do need to win the battle, so I do tend to... Eh, look. We'll lose a couple more casualties here and there, not sweat it. But this right flank is really holding for us now. 
you got to give it to the Ethiopians. They're giving us a hell of a battle here. My God. It's only just in our favor to win it. They're giving more of a, more of a run for our money than the bloody Persians. We've <laughs> only got a couple more units left here. Let's give out some attack orders. So the left and center line columns have completely gone. And it's every Greek boy, every Spartan for himself now. Look at this. They're coming up against heavily armored, shielded soldiers. <laughs> Showing no fear. Oh my god. Spartans still going through as well. Oh! Poor fella. <laughs> Even his feet is bloody. Okay, so now this unit's in a full retreat. Oh my god. So it looks like the Spartans are going to win out on this left flank. Okay, so there's only a couple more units here. There were some crazy animations there. I knew it'd be worth playing this one. Man, it might actually be cool playing as one of these. Sort of southern factions. Alright, let's try and continue to run down as many of them as we can. Because I tend to... I don't know. I don't know about you guys. I tend to play more Hellenic... Roman factions in DEI. I feel like they interest me the most. But yeah. I don't know. Maybe when the Barbarian update comes out. I should play a Barbarian faction. But I'll chuck it on the list. Maybe we should do a, an Ethiopian campaign. That might be quite cool. Anyway. Close victory. Crikey. So yeah. They did outnumber us by about a thousand. We lost 1,800. Well, we've managed to claim victory here. Our first against well, the southern tribes. Now we should be able to push towards their capital a bit easier, but it's just this pushing into the desert. Oh my god, we lost three units of Cretan archers and three... Oh god, okay. So we lost a lot more than what I would like to admit. We'll make sure we finish that off. Um, I guess... We'll just run those down here. But Leonidas... Has added a another bunch of chevrons and stars to his military command ability. Okay, let's push further south. So they've got a stack inside, maybe even a small navy there as well. Cool beans. Okay. So I guess we'll just see if we can siege it out. Maybe. Maybe we just need to fortify a bit, replenish up a bit. Get that secondary army further south. We'll move close to their territory, but we want to try and make most of that battle we played. Right, over here, uh, the Nasamones. So, we basically just want to unite the province of Libya under my control. I have really no ambition pushing into sort of Gamantian territory, but uh, we'll see how we go. I think the Romans have pretty good relations with them, so I don't really want to upset the apple cart. The... Applecart being the trade and military alliance with the Romans. Mm, well, maybe we should, because we're doing quite well. Like, it's a decisive victory here against these guys. Okay. And then... We actually connect quite closely to... The Romans in North Africa now. Okay. I guess we'll just go with aggressive stance. Ooh, okay. A little bit tough in the end, but... Another full province is under Spartan Imperial control, I guess. Alright, back over to Persia now. Let's continue our war against them. We've managed to take their northern territory. Took three provinces off them. We played a battle against the Persians in the last, but now we're pushing into their... Heartland Cord Territory. We have five armies. Technically, four full stacks. One's empty. We need to 
recruit some more units in. This army was... Where was that? Oh, yeah, it was, it was hanging around in Asia Minor, wasn't it? Dealing with the Egyptians. Uh, Slavers have arrived in your port. Shipment. But which should we get? An Egyptian or Scythian? I guess we get both. The Egyptians are basically no more at the moment, so we're not going to get too bad relations with them. And the Scythians, the horse lords in the north are sort of, I don't know, chilling. <laughs> okay, an army's coming out here. But we just sort of need to build up a bit before we can push in there. It seems to be quite a large garrison. I guess we'll just try and continue to sabotage, poison the supplies as well. Okay, so we're basically done here. I don't want to push into the Gamantian territory. So, look, you know what? Let's move King Arias and these three armies back to Jerusalem, back to the Levant. And then I guess we'll make preparations to either go to war against Batia or potentially betray the Seleucids. Okay, so let's continue our war against the Persians and we'll siege this out. So what are the odds here? Okay, another auto-resolve, I'd say. Perfect. Because we've already at least played a battle against the Persians. Man, we are getting into the heartland of Iran now. Uh, valuable slaves. Cool. Research ray as well. Okay, for some reason the Ethiopian army moved westward. So we're going to be able to take the province. And that should be the last of them. Our first piece of territory down in the south. We'll loot, of course. And there's Axum and a couple others there. Got some rebellions as we push into Persian territory, but yeah. They haven't got much more regions left. This could be the last of them, territory wise. Okay. Yeah, we'll loot and take the 9,400. Cool. Yeah, just some annoying rebellions have popped up. But I guess it's because we're sacking. That makes sense. Alright. So, yeah. The Persians are just a horde faction now, technically. And I guess we have to go north and retake those territory we lost. So, we it's Parthia now we border with. Okay, I think it's time to open up another front here in Dacia, because we've just got units just chilling, four full stacks. So, we'll push into Transylvania. They're not allied or at war with anyone. So let's go against them. Also, the, um, the ghetto, the Dacians cancelled their vassal pact with them, so I guess that gives us Justification to go against them eventually as well. I don't know why they offered it just to cancel it eventually in the future. We did have a small wall against, a war against them in Saguntum when they took it off some tribe. I don't know, but no hard feelings against them. But these battles up against the barbarians are easily winnable for us. So maybe we should fight against the Dacians. You know what I mean? Maybe that can be the Barbarian we fight up here. Because these other factions aren't a main faction, you know what I mean? They're just small tribes. Okay. Um, who goes north to run you down? I guess you. There's another two in the north. So we've managed to claim our first piece of territory in Dacia. That's going to help us a lot. Because now that we're sacking heaps, we're basically putting all of that money into our economy. I think it's time to go to war against Nabatia. Those three armies that were in, essentially, Libya have made their way to Jerusalem and they're not really doing too much. So I think we're better off going against them before the Seleucids because they could betray us. And they tend to have a fair few units in the north. Arias is now 48. He's going to be starting up another war. In this army, we've got some African elephants as well, which is cool. We've got some Gamantian Egyptian levies as well. So, a couple hybrid armies, which is awesome. So, we'll push into 
this sort of Jordanian Nabatian territory firstly. And they seem to be quite weak garrisons as well. We've surprised attacked them. But they do have a lot of armies floating around the desert. Because they've taken Palmyra. That's what they took up in the north. They sort of pieced out. They took it off the Seleucids and pieced out a while ago. So we'll send these armies to south. We'll send the other one to the north because they could send a reactionary force. You never know. Okay. Hmm. They're in an interesting position here. Moving about. I want to try and take the entire province of Ethiopia if we can. And then we are secure from the south. Nothing's coming up <laughs> from Africa because it's, well, the end of the map here. But they're now gone. Let's move you further back. So what well, with a fair few factions, though. They're off in the sea. Yeah, it looks like Nabatia have a lot of their forces up in the north. We're going to be able to smash through and take their core territory here with ease. We're going to be able to take three settlements from them in quick succession. Yeah, look at this. And then they've only got one more. Yeah, so it's definitely worth going against them. And then I guess we make preparations for the Seleucids. Aqueducts, religious buildings, food is always good. Okay. Can that reach? No. Oh, here we go. They've sent an army towards Jerusalem. We'll probably play that one. Okay, family tree-wise, it's been a while since we've looked at that. But we've probably got to deal with those two armies. We've got to watch out for them. They could attack us. Because that's a thing of concern. Egypt is fully under our control. We've taken two pieces of territory against them up. They've sent an army up. I think, yeah, look, you know what? We'll fight this one at the start of the next episode. So we'll have a Spartan war against Nabatia, the men of the Arabian Peninsula for the first time. Uh, most of Persia is fully under our control. We're just dealing with some small rebellions that have popped up here and taken some territory. We just <laughs> even overextended ourselves, pushing headstrong against the Persians. We've allowed some rebels to pop up. I guess we make a play north, pushing into sort of Hungary here, um, and then we'll sort of fight the Dacians at one point, like the Ghetto. I think that'd be better, playing against some of the other tribes. But here is the Spartan Empire now. Uh, Rome has managed to take some territory in Spain, by the look of it. And we've obviously got Africa, sec Africa secured. Yeah, so, yeah, Nabatio only has two pieces of territory left. Uh, we could look to make a confederation with Masalia at some point. We've got enough money now. And money coming in to defend it if we want to. But in episode 11, coming out soon, we'll finish off the Persian rebels that have taken my territory in the Caucasus. We'll play the battle against Nabatia. And I guess we start making plans in preparation to go and betray the Seleucids and the Armenians. So I hope you still are enjoying this campaign, guys. I'm still having an absolute blast. Um, there's still a lot more factions for us to fight that we haven't seen yet, particularly the Nabatians and I guess the Seleucids and the Armenians. We haven't warred against them. So stay tuned for episode 11 coming out soon. I'm going to play the outro now. Cheers. Unfortunately, it's time to end the video here. Thank you very much for watching. Check out my social media links in the description below if you'd like to stay connected with me. Let me know feedback and suggestions for the video. Got to say a huge thank you to my patrons and channel members. Victor K, Sebastian C, Jordan K, Caesar L, Brian S, Tal, Liam B, Kyle P, Tom C, and Wyatt P. So thanks guys, my name has been Simsy, much love from Australia, goodbye.